Hi, this is Scott Hansen from the riffle.blogspot.com. I'm here for my third tying tutorial in my Joy of Fly Tying class uh, sessions. Uh, the fly we're going to tie tonight is called a Peacock and Brown. It's a basic wet fly with just three elements and uh, it's fairly simple. You can see it's got some brown hackle, some peacock, and some red floss for a tail. We're going to get a hook started here. This is just any ordinary uh, wet fly nymph hook. This is a size 12. I am going to start some uh, 6 or 8 aught thread, I should say. I'm going to use, this is wine colored thread. You can use any color that you care to use. I'm just going to start it with a jam knot here, about a third of the way back from the eye. And cover up the shank of the hook. I'll trim off the excess thread there and now first thing I'm going to tie on is some red rayon floss for a tail. I'm going to take about two strands out of the four strand floss and I'm just going to prepare it by uh, cutting off uh, the two, the two um, pieces of floss. I always kind of wet it a little bit so it stays in a nice tight clump and I'm just going to tie it right on top of the hook shank right where my thread is hanging and I'm going to hold on to that nice and tight as I wrap my thread back to the bend. I'm just going to let that hang on the back of the hook there that's we'll trim that to length later. Next we're going to tie on some peacock hurl. Peacock hurl comes uh, right underneath the, the eyed feather of a peacock tail. And I'm going to just take off about oh, three to five pieces of the hurl. I'm just going to strip it right off the quill. And to prepare that, uh, the part that I pulled off the quill can be quite stiff and it won't wrap very well, as you can see there. So I'm just going to trim off about an inch of that. I've got about three hurls here. And then right where I trim that, I'm going to tie that in. And I just pinch it on top of the hook shank there, cover up the end and wrap my thread back to where my tail is. <clears throat> and then I'll move my thread back up to the front of the hook, covering up that hurl, making a nice even underbody. Now the, the trick to wrapping hurl, uh, hurl can, peacock hurl can be quite fragile by itself. So I like to uh, use multiple pieces of hurl and twist them together into a nice rope. Once I have it twisted, then I can wrap it all together as one strand. And uh, as you can see, it's got a nice shimmery green um, fluffy body that it makes there. Once I get up to where my thread's hanging, I'm just going to hold that straight up, angle it forward a little bit, and then throw my thread over it there, just like this, three or four or five times. Should be good. Hold that straight up and cut it off with my scissors. Now the next thing I'm going to do is tie on a brown hen feather. I'm going to use this for the hackle. This is a whiting um, hen feather. Very long, very uh, even barbs. That fluffy part on the butt end of the feather we don't want. We want to trim that out. And then I'm going to prepare this the way I prepare all the feathers I tie in for hackle. I uh, just pull the fibers out at a right angle there by the butt end and then trim them off real close to the stem. But I leave little nubbins for the thread to grab onto. Now to tie this in, I'm going to hold it by the tip. And I'm, I want the feather to curve towards the back of the hook. So once I figure out which way it's curving, I'm going to hold it move my fingers up by the butt end and just lay it over the top of the hook and throw my thread over it a few times, get it in there nice and tight, trim off the excess stem and just let my thread hang right behind the eye. Now I just am going to wrap this uh, beard style which means right in front of the body but behind the thread so my first wrap of hackle goes right around, all the way around, right in front of the body. Next wrap goes right in front of that first wrap. And the 
third wrap. I think I'll put another wrap on here. It goes right in front of that. So each wrap of hackle goes right in front of the previous wrap. Once I get up to where my thread is, I'll just hold that hackle tip straight up, kind of angle it forward, and throw my thread over it three or four times to get it in, tied in nice and tight. Trim that off. Now if you can see my hackle looks kind of crazy right now. I'm going to try to uh, tame that a little bit by uh, stroking all the fibers back with my the fingers on my left hand. And I'm just going to make a nice thread head in front and kind of trap those uh, feathers back so that they angle backwards a little bit over the body of the fly. Make a nice neat little thread head. There we go. And I'll take my whip finisher here, go around about three or four times, there we go, that's in there nice and tight, and I'll trim my thread off. Now my peacock and brown is essentially done. The only thing left is to trim the tail, I want that to be about the length of the body or so, and I like to trim it at an angle, so it's uh, angled from the top down. And our peacock and brown is done. There we go, you can see it's got a nice even hackle all the way around. This is a beautiful brook trout fly, a good panfish fly. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks a lot.